Google stands out as one of the most sought after employees in the industry. Year after year, lakhs of software developers aspire to work at Google. Every other software developer wants to work at Google at least once in their professional career. The moment we look at a Googler, we presume that the software developer must be good. But to get into Google, software developers go through a rigorous, competitive and a unique interview process. So in today's video, let's check out how Google's interview process is unique and different from any other company's interview process. Let's get started. Most companies follow a sequential interview process where candidates must clear one interview round before moving on to the next. Whereas Google follows a different approach where multiple interview rounds are scheduled together. After a phone screening round, three to four on-site interviews are scheduled usually for the same day and it typically takes several hours. Now some people might find it very nice because they can avoid the stress of preparing and scheduling the interview again and again. But some might find it extremely exhausting both mentally and physically because you have to maintain your level of focus and energy throughout your day and taking so many interviews in a day can be extremely challenging. Let me know in the comments which approach would you prefer as a candidate. Before we move ahead and talk about more differences in the interview process, let me just say whether you're preparing for Google or for any other big companies like Amazon, Uber, Atlassian or even for startups, your journey would be a lot easier and better if someone who has cracked these interviews is there to guide you. What if I told you that you can get a coach or a mentor who is a senior software developer from Google to handhold you throughout the interview prep? Let me introduce you to Preplace, the top training mentorship platform which has more than 250 mentors who are software developers and data scientists from top tech companies. This is not just a simple course but a direct chance to connect with the top experts of the industry who are ready to help you with interview preparation. If you want to match with a personal mentor from a company of your choice, check out Preplaced. Here you can shortlist a mentor based on your domain, book a free trial and finalize the mentor of your choice for a long term mentorship program. Your mentor will help you throughout of the month by taking continuous mock interviews, sharing exact resources, assisting you in drafting resumes, helping you with job applications and making sure to fix your gaps and weak areas. And the best part is you get a direct referral from these experts for performing well. One-on-one -on -one sessions with professional experts can help you stand out and be fully prepared. Check out the link in the description. Coming back to the Google interview process, did you know that while almost all companies have started expecting low-level system design from freshers as well, Google has no dedicated low-level system design round. Yes, you heard it right. You might be asked oops concepts as follow-up questions that too if you're applying for positions L4 or above or when you're applying for positions L5 or above and you have a system design round, which by the way is focused on high-level system design, you might be asked a bit about low-level system design or oops concepts, but it will just be a part of it. There is no dedicated low-level system design round. And I honestly find it extremely weird because according to me, low-level system design is something which is closest to our daily work. And I personally feel that it should be asked in interviews. And since I've been teaching low-level system design, I have grown to understand its importance more and more over time. What do you think about this? Do you think Google should have a dedicated low-level system design round or not? Do you think that it is okay that some software developers at Google were never interviewed for oops concepts? Let me know in the comments. Since we are already talking about system design, another interesting point is that while almost all companies start having high level system design rounds for candidates even with 1.5 to 2 years of experience, Google has a system design round only if you are applying for positions L5 or above. Basically, you should have minimum of 6 to 9 years of experience. This is again an interesting point of discussion. Don't you think that software developers with 3 to 4 years of experience should also have a good high level system design understanding? Basically, considering the kind and the type of interviews that that Google has, it seems that their focus is more on DSA rounds, which basically tests your problem solving and logical building skills rather than on system design, which can be LLD or HLD. Yet another interesting point is that while most of the companies have DSA rounds on IDs or coding platforms like CodeSignal, Codility, CoderPad, etc., Google for the longest time used to have DSA rounds on Google Docs, which comes with a lot of problems like auto caps, spacing between the lines because of which code looks very weird. Now, recently, Recently, Google has also moved to its own coding platform, but still candidates are not expected to run the code, while in some companies you are expected to write a running code, actually run the code, take the input cases and run it and see whether your test cases are working or not. Here the challenge is that there are no editor shortcuts and without any warnings or errors, you might be making mistakes that you would not 
make if we had the shortcuts or we were running the code and that is why if you're practicing to appear for google interviews i would highly suggest you to practice without editor shortcuts and direct submit the code and see whether you're making any compilation errors or not by the way this is the reason that if you notice most of the mock interviews on my channel i have done on google docs because i want to show that how the toughest of the interviews can happen and what are the mistakes that you could make Google's behavioral round is called Googliness and Leadership Round. Almost all companies have these rounds these days. It is basically to see the leadership fit according to the company's culture and values. There is nothing very different about it. But the twist over here is that in most of the companies, what happens is that if you had the HR or the behavioral round, it is very likely that if it went well, you're going to get an offer. But in Google, that is not the case. Even after Googliness and Leadership Round, there is a high possibility that you might not get an offer because there are two very crucial steps after the G. DNL round. In one step, recruiter forms a profiles packet and a hiring committee sits to analyze that packet. Now it has your resume, all the feedback from all the interviews and everything inside the packet. And it's a third party hiring committee that sits. It's not your interviews basically. And they make the final decision whether you are going to get the offer or not. Other than this, there's also team matching that has to be done. Basically, you meet with few members or managers of different teams and team has to be matched both from the team side and also from your side. You should also feel like this is the team where you want to work and your team member or manager will also understand your previous work and will decide whether you are the right fit for the team or not. Now the order of hiring committee review and team matching has changed over the years and I think it depends from case to case and depending on the discussion with the recruiter. I have heard cases where offer was about to be rolled, hiring committee said yes, but right team couldn't be matched. Either candidate was not happy or uh, there was no right fit for the candidate. So basically the candidate did not get the final offer from Google. And I've also heard cases where team matching happened, but the hiring committee said a final no. So because of that offer did not come. So even after the behavioral round, which is the GNL round, there are two more crucial steps. And until both are done, you can't be sure that you are going to get an offer from Google. Even though you might have heard that, okay, your review of the interviews was okay, okay. You cannot say for sure until both of these steps are done. I've heard so many cases where interview feedback was okay, recruiter was almost happy and it seemed very positive, but the final offer was not rolled out because of either the hiring committee step or the team matching step. This is very unique to Google interview process. How many hints you receive during the interview obviously depends on interviewer and not on a company. It's highly subjective. But usually in Google, what happens is hints is not given. Usually the interviewer has a very straight face and doesn't give too many hints. Even if you get a hint and you built up on it, it could be a negative feedback that the candidate required a hint. If the question was too hard and if only a small hint was given, then obviously the case is different. But usually taking hints is considered not such a good thing in Google interviews. Basically, they expect expect you to drive the entire interview and they expect you to take care of everything. Sometimes I've even heard the interviewer give feedback that you did not talk about complexity. In most of the companies, what will happen is that interviewer will just ask that, okay, talk about the time on the space complexity. Here I have seen that interviewer sometimes expect you only to talk about it. You should talk about test cases. You should talk about complexities. If the question is very vague, you should ask the right questions. So basically they expect you to drive the interview properly and there is very little scope of making mistakes mistakes compared to other companies. Obviously, it is subjective and really depends on interviewers. But usually I have noticed that the level in Google is higher than the other companies. Like I have myself done this in a lot of companies interviews that depending on the interviewer's response, I see that okay, the interviewer looks happy or doesn't look satisfied, I will take the discussion accordingly. But in Google interviews, usually the interviewer has such a straight face or doesn't really give any hints. So you are left a bit confused at are we doing the right or the wrong thing. So you need to be really, really confident in case of Google interviews because you might received a very cold response from there and you might be left very confused that your interviewer is satisfied or not. Again, just putting it out there, it really depends on the interviewer, but this is the usual trend. So it is worth keeping in mind. I just have to mention that Google recruiters are just amazing. Like they talk to you like it will be their victory if you get in Google. They help you out so much. They will send you resources. They will keep checking on you. They will uh, push you to practice harder. They will give you examples that, okay, you should practice these many questions or hard level questions or medium level questions. They have actually even started scheduling mock interviews. They will also schedule one-on-one -on -one sessions with Googlers so that you get an idea and you can get mentorship from them. And 
now they have also started doing mock interviews which is very interesting according to me they even call people to google office for mock interviews to help and prepare them honestly i have not seen as good recruiters as google recruiters in any company they are just so patient in other companies i've noticed that recruiters go like the position will get filled because the recruitment happens for a particular position in the company but in google they are just so patient they go like you come for interviews only when you are fully prepared and you take as much time as you want for preparation i have heard cases where candidates took even 6 months for the entire preparation like after phone screen and before uh, on site interviews they took so much time just to be sure that they are properly prepared for the interviews and only then they appeared for the interviews and they were able to crack it so the recruiters are extremely friendly extremely helpful they will guide you through the entire process and they are very well informed also like in some companies i have noticed that recruiters don't really know because they are non technical people they don't care they will just say system design round it could be lld round or it could be hld round the google recruiters really know that what kind of questions to expect they will be able to tell you that okay these are the example questions these are the resources exactly this is going to happen in the interview exactly this is what is expected this is the level expected for this position they have very good clarity and they are able to guide the candidates accordingly which i think is very very important and very helpful during the entire recruitment process coming to the final point of the video and i personally find this very annoying about google interview process that the process can be extremely long basically after connecting with recruiter you are given some time for prep before the telephonic interview now feedback of that itself can take 10 to 15 days and then your on site rounds are scheduled now for for that also you might be given some feedback and then you're given some time for prep and after that again the feedback is going to take some time then team matching has to happen with multiple teams hiring committee has to sit uh, then salary negotiation is going to happen so the process can be extremely long i've heard cases where it took 7 8 months or even up to a year for the entire offer to be rolled out so you have to have a lot of patience if you're going to apply for google and it is obviously not true for all cases some cases are very quick you you are telephonic round is scheduled and if you are fully prepared your immediate on site rounds are scheduled sometimes for some people it can be very quick but usual trend is that it is a very long process when it comes to google and honestly when you get your hopes up you just want to get the result the wait can be very annoying these are the major differences between google interview process and other companies interview process if you know of any other different points that i have missed if you have gone through the google interview process or if you have gone through others interview processes let me know in the comments it will help others as well in my opinion google has a very unique interview process and i would love to know what you think about it but if you like the video if you found it interesting or helpful please do subscribe you have no idea how much it will mean to me and see you next time